Hey guys, Flyer 556 coming to you today. We're up here in Eastern Fishing Game again. Today, I just purchased another new rifle, another Henry. The Henry Big Boy in 357 mag. Give you a quick look at the gun. Quite a bit of gun. It uh, takes just about anything you feed it. I was looking for the Marlin in 357. I got that in 44, as you all know, but I couldn't find it. And um, I'm really glad I got the Henry because the Marlin's really picky with whatever ammunition it'll take. It'll only really shoot round nose flat point. It tends to have a really sharp edge on the barrel. And I found it with the Henry this morning. I ran everything. I have loaded in 38 and 357 and it chambered everything I put in. It chambered round nose flat point, semi wide cutter, round nose, 38 and 357 in all three, in copper and lead. It chews up anything you put in it. Plus the Henry Big Boy holds 10 rounds, whereas the Marlin only holds 9. So um, there's a few advantages to it. It is a little more money. It was 800 bucks before the mix. With the mix, it was like 850 out the door, and uh, that's the rundown on the Henry Big Boy in 357 and 38 special. I got it loaded up now, 38, 125 grain, uh, round nose flat points that I loaded up last night. Let's uh, let's run them and see how it runs. Henry Big Boy in 357 mag, shooting 38 125 grain round nose flat points. You can run 10 shots through this thing a couple of them didn't come out because I'm going to eject them as gently as possible because I don't want to see the grass. Um, I'm going to load it up again with 10 more 125 grain round nose flat points that I loaded last night in cast. with another 10 rounds of 25 grain round nose flat point that I loaded up last night in cast and we're gonna go to it. We're gonna put these on the top right target which I'll show after I shoot them. 
Then we're going to load it up with some 357 mag. Here we go. All right, there goes another 10. Seemed to feed much better when I worked it a little more firm. I'm just concerned with saving the brass because I want to load it up, load it back up tonight. All right, we're going to load it up with 10 rounds of 357 now with the same bullet, 125 grain round nose flap. I loaded these a couple of weeks ago. These are quite a bit hotter. I'm going to try 10 of these out. All right, 357 mag, 125 grain round nose flat point, 10 rounds on the bottom left target, here we go. All right, that was 10 rounds of 357 mag. That was quite a bit hotter than the 38. A um, couple guys want to go down range and change targets now, so we're going to take a break and end this video. Anyhow, I'm happy I got the Henry rather than the Marlin because it does chamber anything. Like I said, it was a little more money, um, but I'm glad I got this gun rather than the Marlin. Another quick look at the gun. Does got the octangular barrel. As you can see, it's made in Bayonne, New Jersey. Show you the other side quick. Got the octangular barrel once again. Tells you on the side there, it's chambered in 357 mag and 38 special. And, uh, I think it's a fine piece of hardware. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this one. Please remember, like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching this video. Flyer 556, I'm out.